On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan. A blessed and wonderful Tuesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning and my peeps have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps, we are going to kick it off with a story. Anakins and clappings that uh, took place over there in uh, Vineyard Town in the East Kingston uh, Police Division. That took place on Saturday, October 28th, sometime about 7 p.m. in the latter part of the evening. Now, this knockings and clappings took the life of one of Slipe Road most prominent businessmen, a long-standing businessman in the area. Now, this is the man presently on your screen. A rather younger version of him, but it's him nonetheless. He has since been identified as Mark Anthony Luke, said to be about 57 years of age at the time of his passing. Now, he lost his life over there in Vineyard Town on Sackville Road in Kingston 3. Now, it is said that he was trailed by a man on a motorbike who caught him up in the passenger seat of a Toyota Wish motor vehicle that he was being driven in by another person. So it is said that he was in preparation for a round robin at his business establishment. Now this business establishment is really a prominent structure along Slap Road. It's that big building that kind of shapes like a castle. The top of it has the little crown things like where you normally would have sip on a castle. That's his building right there. So it has been there for quite some time. As I stated, he is a prominent member of the business fraternity over the years. Now he was in preparation for a round robin. So he left Slipe Road with a friend in the Toyota Wish motor vehicle to go to Vineyard Town to get himself ready for the upcoming round robin that said night. It is said that he was trailed by a man on a motorbike that followed him to Vineyard Town. It is said that as the vehicle stopped, the man just ride up and start pepper him in the passenger seat. The driver of the vehicle escaped unharmed. Now, this knockings and clappings here definitely come as a shocker to some. But to some, it's not necessarily a surprise. Because it is said that in recent times, well, in not so recent times, him get caught up in the slip road area where he was Canned up about 10 times all over his body and he survived that brutal onslaught and left the slip road area for a number of years. Now it is said that he returned to the area, took over back the business from family members that was running the business. No allegations are in the streets is that he recently had a very, very serious verbal altercation with men who has a scrap metal type of business going on right beside his business place. 
It is said that those men were parking their trucks in front of his property and causing blockages. So he spoke rather harshly to them. Given the fact that is a man where have him ratings in the place. So I guess him use a little harsh tone. You don't know the might tone. Say yo, a mirror yeah, so type of tone to the man them. It is said that that verbal altercation did not go down or sit too well with the scrap metal men. Now these men are known as cash flow scrap metal have connections over there with the Riverton man them too. We do the same scrap metal. We are talking about the man them from Riverton when you bling us. Now the underworld basically I say Adesso theme knockings and clappings come from. Now on the spot news media most definitely I gotta do some serious digging into this one and try to penciling everything to see where it really a come from. It could have been coming from his old rivals. We can him up 10 times in his body a few years ago that caused him to step away from the business along Slipe Road. Or it could be from cash flow, scrap metal and bling as man them. Because we all know so them man they tie in to the criminal underworld also. And that's the reason why I made mention of the cash flow and the blingers man them. Because them man they, probably the top man them in I think is not the trigger man them. But we all know say them have influence in the criminal underworld with the knackis and clappies them. So an easy one tree for your man go up on him dial. And make a one call and put a hit on a man's head. So now we have some work for do where that is concerned. So we are going to make the ones and ones them understand really where it has come from as it relates to the knockings and clappings that resulted in the last life of Mark Anthony Luke. Yeah, man. And points to note that family is a very powerful and prominent family with brothers who lives abroad that have the power and backing of the finances yeah man so we will most definitely be looking out because i know for sure that those brothers is not about to take their brothers last of life sitting down so more to come from this one. Yeah, man. So watch this now, my peeps. Just before I close out on the Mark Anthony Luke story, I just need to make mention also of something that I think is also of utmost importance given the fact that we are now living in a Jamaica where we have seen time and time again family disputes gone sour and family members themselves are uh, hitmen to carry out hits on family members. So could this be one of such? Could it be that Mark Anthony Luke's family members put out a hit on his head? Now as I stated earlier, he owns that castle building right beside the gas station right there. So along Slipe Road coming down to Tarrington Bridge. So, over the years, as I stated a few years ago, him get caught up in that area. So, him leg out the place for a while and allow one of his brothers to control the ends and his sister. Now, he also owns another like a big yard type of setting down in the lane just across from the castle building. It is said that in recent times, in very recent times, since him start come back round at Slipe Road and take over back the building and I run back the business, I run back the thing. He went over by the big yard there so and kind of do a house cleaning because he's a man who is full of principle and he want him thing run a certain way. So he had an 
argument also with one of his brothers and had a physical altercation with one of his sisters or close female family member. Now it is said that him run away for run away and make certain things put back into the order of his liking and those family members that he had that verbal altercation with was definitely not pleased with how he handled that situation. Now this man as I stated is a prominent businessman. Very simple in his attire and how he carries himself so most would not know the extent of his business knowledge and power basically. He owns a very successful plastic welding business over there in Vineyard Town. He also owns a wholesale along Windward Road there, so near Big Joe in that vicinity there. So this man is most definitely coveted for a lot of his accomplishments. So maybe, just maybe, the police need to look within his own family members also. Because I would not be surprised if the hit is also coming from them. Yeah, man. So the next thing that we are going to talk about, my peeps, is a story coming out of the parish of St. Elizabeth. A place known as Lacovia, where this man presently on your screen identified as O'Shane Gale, said to be a teacher also at the Magati High School and also the opposition PNP member as a running candidate for councillor for the Lacovia division. Now, he has since been identified, as I stated earlier, as 29-year-old O'Shean Gale. Now, this man has been charged with assault of his pregnant common-law wife. O'Shean Gale allegedly used a piece of board to strike his common-law wife who is pregnant. Let me repeat that. She's pregnant he used a piece of board to strike the woman several times during a domestic dispute on saturday the woman is also a nurse now she and gail is also accused of grabbing the woman by the neck and holding her down on the bed inside their family home O'Shane Gale, as I stated earlier, a teacher at Magati High School in St. Elizabeth, was arrested and charged on Sunday with assault occasioning bodily harm. So in a statement on Monday afternoon, the PNP, through its chairman, Dr. Angela Brownberg, expressed deep concern and condemnation of O'Shane Gale's alleged actions the pnp says violence within the context of domestic dispute is entirely inconsistent with the party's core value so according to the pnp it firmly maintains its intolerance of behaviors that compromise the safety and dignity of individuals and remains dedicated to upholding high ethical standards so basically in a nutshell the pnp has cut ties with the alleged woman beater oshian gill yeah man now the last thing that we are going to talk about is this old dirty boy presently on your screen i went time i said dirty boy you know we're not talking about no dirty kind of boy we are talking about just a plain old Dutty man. When you remember the remix of Romain Virgo song with the little girl eh, we said, Dutty man, you dirty man. Leave the people pitney them alone. Yeah man. A dem type of dirty man that this brother here presently on your screen. Now he has since been identified as 
Hubert Campbell. Originally from Mount Salem over there in St. James. A real old dirty man, may I tell you, my peeps. Now, another like minded vlogger covered his story extensively about 10 months ago. I'm speaking about one of Western Jamaica's finest Popeyes news link. Yeah, man. And he covered his story and gave a full breakdown of the nasty behaviors of Hubert Campbell. Now, let me give you a quick rundown of who this whole nastiness really is. He was arrested and charged on at least 30 different counts. Yeah, man. The police them charge him with a long list of things. Long. So, for all sorts of dirty lifestyle. We are talking about ranging from males to females. Old and young. As this old dirty nastiness here presently on your screen. Is not too picky about his victims. As he will lay with just about anyone at any time. He has also targeted close family members. And also implicated in certain type of disgusting conduct being caught multiple times in compromising position with his own female children so after all those charges were preferred against him by the police he was brought before the courts in the parish of st james and your honor saw it fit to give this whole nastiness some bill. So he did exactly what any other criminal element would have done. He basically laughed at the criminal justice system and spat in the face of the judge, not literally. Because he absconded bail and decided that, hey, me no me guilty. And you give me a blight back in the streets. Who now have to go hold me again. Because I am not going back. And he sought the help and assistance from family members abroad. To aid him with financial assistance in getting a place outside of the parish of St. James. Now Hubert Campbell was recently seen in a housing scheme in Falmouth. One of the newer housing schemes in the parish of Chulani, the parish capital of Falmouth, to be exact. No, this man is definitely not good for anyone's community. He's a threat to your community, not just to the little girls, but also to the little boys. Because he was charged with all of that. This man is a monster. A real type predator. And if any one of you regular members of Chan Public out there. Knows of his exact whereabout. Please inform the nearest police station. So that this criminal element can be taken off the streets once and for all. He is wanted by the St. James police for multiple hold on and take of both family members that are females and males and also sons and daughters of some regular members of Chan Public. And he's hiding among you, the regular members of Chan Public in Falmouth, Chulani. Yeah, man. Now, anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.